welcome to Kids Academy. Hello boys and girls, this is Teacher Mike with Kids Academy, and today I'd like to teach you about arrays, but before we get to today's worksheet, let's talk about what an array really is. An array is just a group of objects, pictures, and numbers that are arranged in rows and in columns. And a rectangular array is an array that is arranged in equal columns and rows, and it also takes the shape of a rectangle. So, an example of a rectangular array would be if we had pictures of cats, and we had three cats in the first row, well, that would mean we would also have to have three cats in the second row, and three cats in the third row, and three cats in the fourth row. We can make as many rows as we want, as long as there are three in each row, because that's how we've created our array. And to find out how many there are in total, we can just count up all of our cats and see how many there are in total. Let's count them up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Putting objects in arrays makes them easy to count and also will help with multiplication later on. So let's read the directions for our worksheet and get started right away. What's an array? Check all the pictures that show rectangular arrays. So let's look at our first picture. In our first picture, I see a circular group of stars. Now I know that it has to have columns and rows, and I don't see any columns and rows in this picture, so this is not an array. Our second picture shows houses, and in this picture, there's one, two, three, four houses in the first row, and there's also one, two, three, four houses in the second row too. Now, we have to make sure there's an equal number in each row and in each column. So let's go ahead and check. Well, I know that there's four in each row because we just counted. And I can clearly see that there's two in each column. That shows me that this is an array. So let's go ahead and check this picture. Let's look at our next picture of smiley faces. In this picture, there is not an equal number in each row. You can see because in our first row, there's one, two, three, four smiley faces. And in our second row, there's only two smiley faces. I remember, there has to be an equal number in each row. Meaning for this to be an array, there would have to be four smiley faces in each row. And there's not. So this isn't an array. Let's move on to the next picture. In our next picture, I see snails. Let's take a closer look and see if this is really an array. In this array, there's one, two, three in the first row. There's one, two, three in the second row. And there's one, two, three in the third row. Okay, we're off to a good start. Now let's check the columns just to be sure. I think this is an array just by the way it looks. It looks nice and even like an array should. But let's count the, com but let's count the snails in the columns just to be sure. There's one, two, three in the first column, one, two, three in the second column, and one, two, three in the third column. This is definitely a rectangular array. Let's go ahead and give this a check. Let's look at our next picture. This picture, although it does look like a square or a rectangle, has nothing filled in in the middle. It's completely blank. So, if we were to count the number in the first row, there's one, two, three, four, five, but if we look at the second row, we can see there's just two. So this is not an array. Finally, if we look at our last picture of beach balls, this does look like a rectangular array as well, but let's take a closer look and count the rows and the columns to make sure it's equal. In our first row, there's one, two, three, four, five. And if we look closely in all the other rows, there's also five beach balls. So that's a good start. I'm thinking this is an array. But let's count the numbers in the columns just to be sure. In the first column, there's one, two, three, four. So there better be four in all the other columns to make this an array. One, two, three, four in the second column, and four in the third, fourth, and fifth. So the columns and rows all contain equal numbers. So if this is an array, let's go ahead and check this as correct. Remember, boys and girls, when you're looking to see if an object is an array or not, make sure it has an equal number in each row 
and an equal number in each column. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.